we're gonna do it differently. We're gonna do it differently. Huh? We're gonna do the other stuff now. What are you gonna do? We're gonna win. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's right. Boom. Yeah, let's go. We got this. Hey, I'm Bowen. We're here in Reading, Massachusetts to play Avengers Infinity Quest, the newest game coming out of Stern Pinball. Third game by designer Keith Elwin, the same team that brought uh, the excellent Iron Maiden and Jurassic Park games over the last few years. Uh, this game is deep. It has uh, modes. It has modes that become multi-balls. It has multi-balls of its own. It has other multi-balls. It has battles with a flip count. It has battles with extra scoring. It has shot multipliers and VIP passes and all the bells and whistles. And we're going to try to lead you through that to break down the ways to try to win all six gems as, as we go over to uh, try and battle that uh, that, that guy, the, the thang, Thangus, Thangus, whatever his name is. Anyway, let's just, uh, let's just beat the game. Leave now. Why? Why would I leave now when I can just strike you? Let's make a skill shot here to the Avengers Tower. That's one of the super skill shots. There are also secret skill shots. The regular skill shot is into the into the pop uppers. Now, at its core, this is a game of uh, battles and gems, and you like the battles by spinning the spinning disc that says strange. And you collect the gems by winning those battles. So the right ramp will start the battle. And you can take any of these battles in any order you want to. Uh, my personal uh, choice is usually to, uh, to take the mine gem first. Because the mine gem will act as a bit of a VIP pass to make the other battles easier to complete. Even though it's a battle against the super giant, you know, that's how it goes when you're the Avengers. No At least you get to like have four people battling against one. That's kind of unfair, but you can ask me. Oh, man, super giant. Super giant did have some pretty good hits in the 70s, but I think they've really fallen off. Um, the way this works now is you can complete, you can continue to make blue shots, and every shot, every blue shot you make, will jack up the multiplier on the spinning disc. So right now the spinning disc is worth 540,000 per spin, which is pretty serious, uh, and we can make it even higher by shooting the Hulk. Um, I would like to suggest that this is not what you should go for because if you think about the risk reward of making shots. You want as little risk as possible in proceeding through the game. So what we should be shooting for here is a multi-ball. By starting Thor multi-ball, we'll be able to finish this off with much less difficulty. So I'm setting up to shoot for Thor, and there it is. And now, by shooting the spinning disc, I can continue to progress towards the end of this battle. Shoot just to break line control. 500,000 and a spin. 500,000 and a spin. <laughs> also, this allows you to expel strains, which during the Thor multi ball is the add a ball. And unfortunately, it uh, ended on me too quickly, but hitting that uh, target behind the sanctum, behind the spinning disc, would have given me an add a ball on top of that, or hitting the. Uh, the Ant-Man would also have done it, so there's a lot of opportunity there lost. I'm going to basically have to finish this off on my own now. And let's just take it and take the points. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That wasn't too bad. That was a 9 million shot. It's time to go binary. Binary? Oh, yeah. That's what I always say. I always say go binary. I mean, why use base 10, you know? So the important thing here to know about this the the uh, this gem quest is that you still must make whatever shot it says you have to before you can activate the 
before you can activate the spinning disc at all. Is being controlled by Super now it's 300,000 per spin. Uh, times five, it's one and a half million per spin. And there is no, no higher value than that. Feed it over the right flipper and boom. How we got, how we got, what we got? And that was the end. So oh, that's big value, that's big bucks. 500,000 and a spin. Um, so I think it's a really well designed uh, design battle, but you have to think about the risk reward of what you're doing pretty much at all times uh, on anything like this. When you win a battle, you can shoot the right ramp to collect the gem. And setting that up from the left ramp is usually what I like to do, but there are lots of ways to do this. Now you say, okay, what shot do I want to be able to auto collect? And uh, my personal choice here is the uh, Black Panther. But uh, there's, there's really no answer here. Black Panther is a very good shot here also because I need a complete iron. And by no, I mean, just by luck, I have uh, completed Strange to light the next quest. So I also cr created what's called a portal lock. Different tasks in the game will award you portal locks, primarily combos. So by making enough combos, you lock a ball, and in the LE, it's a physical lock. Uh, in this, in this, it's a, a just a visual underneath the play field. The next time I start a gem quest, it will be a two-ball affair, automatically, and the scoring will be doubled as long as I can keep that multi-ball going. So from here, I'm going to take the lock for the Iron Man multi-ball. And I'm going to ideally get the ball back for two locks to try and pull the same thing I did before. But the next the next quest, the next gem quest will be a multi-ball anyway. You might as well just start it. Okay, now think about, okay, what what is it that I want to do? What's going to be e What's going to be harder to complete? And I'm going to pick the uh, the reality gem this time. The reality gem is a hard mode. You must hit the spinning disc and then shoot eight shots. The amount that you spin the disc dictates the value of the shots. So the more shots you can make to that spinning disc, the better off you'll be. I also have two locks towards the Iron Man multi-ball. So that's, while it's not my specific priority, it is in a way my priority to get that Iron Man multi-ball started. But instead I've started the Hulk and the Hulk is important and everything must stop because the Hulk is going and I better make that spinner now or else I'll be Hulked. Or don't do anything because 50,000 a spin is not actually that much. But the game makes it seem like something really, really important is going on. And that's kind of actually pretty incredible uh, quality on the part of the display team and the effects team. Everything, everything in the game makes you think like, holy crap, something real important is happening right now. No, not really. But it sure sounds that way. Back to this battle. Where I am in the battle right now, besides chasing Mitch's 1.8 million, 8 billion, is to beat up on this maw by shooting shots. And if I want to make the shots worth more, I can shoot the spinning disc. And that's the end of that part. It was double value because I was in the multi-ball. But where I am now, I'm almost done. And I can use one of these, both one of these mind gem power ups to collect a free shot. I'm like, oh, he's almost done. Well, why not just kill him? Oh, well, it's always nice to get 10 million and win something without having to do anything. Um, so just keep that stuff in mind as you go through the game that you have these, uh, these gems that you can use. And the order in which you collect gems matters. The reality gem is a shot multiplier. So now we think about like what shot 
What shot do we want to be multiplied? The next shot we make will be double. And I made the Hulk shot. That's the one I wanted. So where are we now? Other than trying to get control. It sucks trying to talk to you while I could normally get control and shoot my next thing. But I've got to talk to you about what it is. Let's look at the progress we have on the board. We need six more pop bumpers on uh, Captain America. Uh, we need a few more things to advance Avengers to level to level one, level two. You can see the levels by uh, how they're flashing. Just solid means you've collected them. Flashing means they're on level one. And if they flash harder, then they're on level two. So let's start another battle. And we have Iron Man multi bowl ready to go. We should go directly for that on the next battle. The portal will lead you to the next Infinity Stone. Okay, what do I want now? Do I want to be able to move my gems around? Do I want to be able to ease increase the power up this is important because i want to be able to carry over some of the progress i've made on the different avengers and hulk is the strongest there is so you know oh geez oh geez there's a bailout shot didn't get all the way around though so okay this is good this is good So I want to start the Iron Man multi-ball here because this will give me the, the safety that I need to be able to do this. During, power, during the power gem, you mean to make the red shots, ideally the ones that are flashing the most. The spinner will raise the value and the disc will raise the value. But primarily right now I'm just focusing on trying to finish that off and give enough, give enough punishment. Shoot the tower. When you hear shoot the tower, Ah, oh, there's a timer ticking down there to collect the uh, to collect the super jackpot during the Iron Man multi ball. But uh, fortunately, failed at that. Where am I here? Okay. So there's still some red shots flashing. It looks like uh, I've either I must be on the final blow for the power up power. You are almost out of time. Oh. I'll blow. Oh, I love this super jackpot on Iron Man, Iron Man multi-ball. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't get to really show you the... If you can put a second ball up there while that one is up there, you can get a double super. And oh, the disc is worth 1.9 million. Oh, that's good. Let's go for this. All right, we've collected the power gem. Now we say, well, where do we want it to be? And we're going to take the one, we're going to take the Avenger for whom it is the hardest to complete. And that Avenger is Captain America. So hopefully it'll pass through there. Oh no, I put it on, uh, I put it on Black Widow by mistake, but that's okay, we can change that. We have the opportunity to change gems uh, by shooting the Ant-Man. So we'll see, we'll see that in a little while. This is now the Soul Gem quest. And the Soul Gem quest is a totally different experience. The Soul Gem, the Soul Gem, uh, the Soul Gem experience is a t an untimed flip count battle where you must shoot the green shots. There are eight of them. Every time you shoot a green shot, it will give you more flips and move you on to the next shot. So it's, a, it's important if you are getting used to this game to remember the order in which these shots occur. Bad, bad choice there. And for whatever reason, I am unable to make the left ramp there. Okay, now from here, I look around and say, well, what's available? I need to shoot that shot all the way on the left. Eh, screw it. 
You have a VIP pass if you have the Mind Gem. And you can recharge that Mind Gem with enough combos and shots to the, to the shot that rewarded it. The current shot in this quest is Thor. And we can just go for it. Now you must complete the drop target bank on the left. And if you drain, it's okay. You just lose flips. You lose five flips every time you drain. Right. Next shot is Captain Marvel. You need enough spins on Captain Marvel, not Thor. Ah, oh boy. Well, fortunately for me, draining twice doesn't kill you. And there it is again, another drain, but uh... And flips are basically worth half a million. So if you think about it that way, it's really not that bad. You know, things get a little more interesting if you get down to like, like 10 flips remaining, right? Yeah. Ah, let's do that. <laughs> All right, so we need to shoot the Avengers Tower. And ideally, it's a combo, but uh, there didn't make that shot cleanly enough. And draining is five flips. This is bad. This is all bad. <laughs> Ah, oh, just kidding. <laughs> so, that's a terrible, terrible amount of, uh, a very bad amount of points there, but uh, it's all. Oh, should have saved that. So, there was a lot going on there that was in, in positive shape, but uh, unfortunately, uh, that's the end of the ball. 3,293 switches though, so got that going for me, which is nice. And most importantly, we have four gems. We have three gems already, and we're about to get the fourth by shooting the, uh, the right ramp. We also have extra ball lit at the Sanctum target in the back of, of that. We earned, uh, didn't earn extra ball, we lit an extra ball through, uh, I believe enough trophies or combos. Every time you earn certain rewards, you get these trophies. And there's even a, a big old thing of trophies to show you what the trophies are trophying. And uh, each trophy gets you trophies. And when you get trophies, you get trophies. But you also get an extra ball for enough trophies. But every time you make a uh, one of these skill shots, you get a trophy. So let's do that and immediately get a trophy. And I'll start the Hawkeye Challenge, which will, if I can pull this off, it'll give me the... Oh, yeah! And the Hawkeye Challenge, one of the rewards of the Hawkeye Challenge is, is uh, instantly giving... That's a lot of trophies. Whatever's going on, there's a lot of trophy action going on right now. All right, Lloyd Hawkeye Challenge. That's good news. Each Hawk, the Hawkeye Challenges are very valuable. Um, you also notice that my Avengers are ba basically back to square one. They're all they're all kind of in in the dumps again. The only one that got to keep their progress was the one I had put the power the power gem on. Unfortunately, I wanted to put that on Captain America because it's very difficult to get Captain America loaded up. We can switch Captain America to a different shot the next time we shoot the gem shot. So let's do that. And now it's time for... Now it's time for madness. That was uh, Change Gems Mayhem. And uh, while Change Gems Mayhem is fun and all, 
it's a uh, it's a little confusing if you get if you don't get to it. But what I was able to do is I now have all of this. I now have most of the stones where I wanted them to be. Uh, I did not get them entirely where I wanted them to be, but that's okay. Um, we can change gems again as we go. But th this means that when you get gems and you place them somewhere, if you screw up and you put them in the wrong place, it's not that big a deal. You just have to get to that change gems phase and you can put all the gems wherever you want them. I did one thing really wrong here, which is the reality gem, which is a, a play field that, a shot X, should have been on Black Panther because the Black Panther shot is pulsing now for the combo jackpot. And the combo jackpot is substantial. Uh, the other things I still need to do are go back into another battle mode. Maybe get towards another multi-ball. I think that I get Thor multi-ball for the next, the next chance. Let's do this combo jackpot just to show you. Combo That's not a lot. Okay, so the next, the next battle will be a multi-ball because I got the portal lock off of the Hawkeye challenge. I'm sending you to the location of the stone. And we want the space gem, or we want the time gem. I like the time gem. The space gem allows you to move the, move the stones. The time gem will increase the timers on things, including the timers on multi-ball ball savers. Go child, bring me my Go child, go child. It's your birthday. Oops. All right, and you can still uh, get into any of the other multi-balls. So the Thor multi-ball is close. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Well, yeah, you're gonna get in her face. Yeah, but why would you get in her face? It's kind of rude. All right, well, we did not uh, finish. Now we say, okay, I have a couple of options here. One is to try and finish the battle, which would be one, two, three, four shots, or two shots to the Thor captive ball. I'm taking the captive ball. And sometimes with the captive ball, you can make these glancing blows into the captive ball, like that one, that keep the ball under control. So that was a safe way of being able to continue this battle and not have to risk my ball with it through the dangerous shots. And that means the Atta Bowl is ready on the Agamotto Bowl. I don't really know what to call it, but I'm gonna call it the Agamotto Bowl. The Eye of Ball for the Agamotto Bowl. Still has the usual keep Elwin effect of second ball on the same side. Proxima attack. Oh. What? Oh, just need one more shot here. This is this is when you know a game a game is good. Uh, you're like, oh, I just need one more of this. I just need to do a little more of this. After you fail enough times at these drop targets, it just lights the one in the middle and says, here, fine, go for it. It's, it's uh, less rude. That doesn't mean I can make it, but at least I can get myself more of a chance. I did, I did, I want to shake the machine. Yeah, I'll say. Whee! Do, 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 do. All right, so that's five gems. And you get N million for N gems. And then I've got to decide where to put it. The time gem, too. Targets are lit. Okay, and you're also seeing the effect of the soul gem. The soul gem will light a recollect of whatever you got during the mode. That's not it. Ooh, oh, 50% and 50% drain. I had two warnings, so there's not much I could do there.
So we are pretty close to recollecting all the Avengers, uh, which would then give us the, the, uh, the next level of the Black Order multi-ball. Uh, I need one more completion of Thor, one shot for Black Panther, um, a bunch of spins and a bunch of pop bumpers. It looks like it's a lot of pop bumpers, but we're actually getting two for one on the pop bumpers. I'm also going to light the last two locks for Iron Man multi ball here, and we have an extra ball ready. So we're in pretty good shape overall. And so am I. As usual, you don't want to start a multi ball unless you have something to match it up with. So it would be a very bad decision here uh, to put the uh, to put the ball into Iron Man right now. Um, I also have to think about the times the time stone and the, the ideal person for the time stone is Black Widow. And the time stone is really interesting. It gives you this uh, this this thing called a time bank. And you can see the time bank in the top center. The time bank will increase any time I shoot Black Widow. And uh, the more shots the Black Widow, the more it will increase. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Let's, uh, let's try shooting to start the uh, battle. Begin time mode! Super Reactor. Oh boy, get out of there. Don't get don't do this. And it's just tempting there to want to bail out into the Iron Man shop. We need the uh, We need the shot to the spinning disc. So I'm shooting Black Panther to try and set that up. Sometimes it doesn't go. But you need Black Panther shots anyway. There it is. No! Oh, that's too bad. That's bad luck there. And not only that, Strange still isn't completed. Uh, it definitely takes more as you go. We also have the extra bullet behind Sanctum. So the, the right thing to do is to shoot that extra ball. The dangerous thing to do would be to just go, go for the battle first. Space Gem is the last one. Avengers versus Corp. Again, it's like three on one. It's really not fair. I, I had the portal lock. Extra ball. And there is the beginning of Iron Man multi ball. So, this is probably going to work out. Uh, we need to think about what we're doing in this different battle. I don't know this battle as well as the others, so. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to shoot for, but when in doubt, just blinking lights. Oh, it's it's Hulk! It's Hulk! It's Hulk! Do the Hulk! Just kidding! Don't do the Hulk! Now we gotta do the Hulk. <laughs> See that? Complete failure of Hulkitude. All right, where are we at now for the battle? Oh right, this is the attack with combos. So this is not necessarily a great mode to do with uh, multi-ball, but the, con the concept here is you want to shoot the left loop on a combo. Uh, the center ramp starts a combo, the Black Panther shot starts a combo, the Hawkeye shot starts a combo, um, and uh, yeah. So let's make combos. Oh. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Ah, that's too bad. Right. So what do we need here? We need one more left orbit. Ah, oh, let's just shoot the thing. Oh, never mind. I put the uh, I put the stone in the wrong place. Like a moron. Okay, so this left loop is the last one to make. Final blow! I like that. We've got ah. the gem. Time to go home. 62 million off of that. Now, where are we? So this is always something to check in when you've got when you when you've got the ball back under control. Look around you. I need to click the last gem. I also need to complete Thor to activate Thor. So now that the uh, space gem the space gem will go on the uh, the right loop for Black Panther. Gold. And recollect. Give me that noise. Boom. Another 31 million. Now, depending on who you put that on, that could be more. If you put it on a fully powered up uh, Avenger instead of me putting on the dumb the dumb drop targets like a Dumbo. Um, it would have been 100% collect or 150% collect even. And if I wanted to, I can get uh, try to reactivate change gems. So what I need now, I have all the gems. You're like, yes, it's over. I've got all the gems. No. Um, the thing I need to do now is to, uh, to spell Thor and complete that to uh, head towards Black Order Multiball. You can see that time bank. The next time I spell some, start a timed round. And that's gonna happen. Woo. Get up. You know, it's a change gems is now lit. So I can do one of two things here. I can shoot for black order multi-ball right now, or I can choose change gems, try to put everything where I want it to be and then go into Black Order Multiball. Uh, and believe it or not, it, it's better to go for the change gem shot. I have the safety of having an extra ball in hand. So where things are right now, it is better for me to look into powering up more, more Avengers before going into Black Order Multiball. For example, one more completion of the Iron Man targets or one more completion of the, the Thor uh, or four shots to Black Widow. Just shooting this target over on the right and then draining because I talked about it. Uh, you know, that's just how it goes. <laughs> so, you know, don't ever do that, but but I did that. The downside is, I mean, the, the upside is that pretty much they, they stay exactly where they were. Um, except for Captain America. Captain America keeps all the progress. You don't have anyone fully powered anymore like Black, Black Panther was. But... So be it. That's the uh, deal. <laughs> I suppose we should just like, you know, start a battle. <laughs> and that would have been worth quite a bit more if I had started on the last ball instead of going for my change gems BS. Uh, but off we go. Shoot Avengers to light jackpots. Spin discs to light super jackpots. more about what I what's happening here than I do and by having the time gem in hand when you get here you have a uh, longer Ah. 
So that did not go very well. Oh no, it's still alive! I'm not dead yet, and you know why? Haha! <laughs> Okay. Alright, still got a ball save. So, why did that all restart for me? Uh, that is the benefit of having the, uh, the soul gem in hand when you get to this thing. You get basically a full restart in the same vein as uh, Scared Stiff. So if you want, you can think of this as a little bit of a cross between Scared Stiff and uh... Alright, now I'm down two balls, I can relax and actually play it. So think of this multi-ball as a cross between uh, Monsters of Rock and Scared Stiff. Uh, it's, it's very nice that way. Monsters of Rock being that I can shoot all the Avengers and good things will happen. Uh, Scared Stiff being that restart that you saw, that you get to fully restart the entire multi-ball when it's over. So, super is lit on the, uh, the, the loop, and the way to access that loop is to shoot the right ramp. Boom! Oh, darn it! <laughs> Uh, they did actually, yeah. It's over. Your momentary accomplishments will not help you win this battle. Eh, uh, screw you. Alright, so now uh, you get, oh, well, I have all the gems, so everything's all good, right? Uh, no. Um, what I can do is two, two things. One is I can still spell strange, and strange is going to give me good stuff. You'll see. Uh, hopefully I can spell strange. Uh, the, next, the next target here is to get all the way through to Battle Royale. First, I'm going to shoot this right loop and move the gems. So I don't know if you noticed that, but if uh, when you shoot the purple gem, it gives you a small amount of time to push the action button to move all the gems. I have a light extra ball available to me if I can get Spot Avenger. I'm going to go for Spot Avenger here on the left. So, let's get Spot Avenger. That's right, that's right, I'm making drop targets. You get the extra ball. I don't want your extra ball. Give me my own extra ball. Hulk! Hulk! Oh my god, I got a Hulk! Yes! Oh, it's so good. So very satisfying, and yet so little points compared to what you think it's going to give you. It's so freaking exciting. You're like, yeah! No, no, not really, no. All right, what I'm trying to do here is hit the spinning disc. Get the spinning disc out of the way. Not in the way, because the extra ball is lit behind the disc. Yeah, it's nice to spin the disc too, but I want the extra ball. No! All right, now with the disc out of the way, surely the ball will drain. Yep, time for drain. Yep, 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 that, yep. <laughs> All right, so this time that target behind the t behind that is just with an ball. Woo! And we drain. That's good. That's good. That's the timing. That is the right timing for a good pinball. You're clapping like it's over. It's not over. I got the extra ball. Gems all wrong. It's probably true. Um, getting the reality gem over onto Hulk is where I had it 
before I switched it over, I didn't want that blue gem on uh, Captain Marvel anymore. Um, let's try Smelling Strange and show you what it does after completing this. Meanwhile, let's get another trophy. Oh, yeah. Shoot side loop for extra ball. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah! <laughs> now, that would be an instant extra ball, sir. Gold. Spell strange to open portal. Portal's open, buddy. All right, and now over there, I've got that. I've got that. Let's go here. Let's go here. Previously played. Risk your soul gem. And we can play some more stuff. Why are we doing this? Because it can still be worth a crap load of points. You might say, what possible reward could there be? Well, we'll see. Oh boy. Versus. Oh boy, did I do that to myself? Okay, good. That worked out. Don't do. I don't really like any of these shots. I'm just kidding. I can't. I can't use the uh, VIP pass until I power up the uh, Black Panther shot. So right now, the only thing I can do is just shoot the shots that are out there. I attempt to anyway. Oh boy. There we go. Now the priority shot is the uh, Avengers Tower. Almost got it. <laughs> the white, the white flashing lights are combos, by the way. So now if I shoot the, if I want to feed that tower, I shoot the right orbit. And you're like, wait a minute, what happened? So. If you put the mind gem on something that you're going to shoot often, you can get pretty big bucks out of it. Oh boy. Give me the ball back. No, 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 no. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. You notice there, I could whoop, switch the look, switch everything. So when you shoot the purple one, you have a brief window where you can push the button and move everything one to the right. You don't get as much control as you want, but now that center shot, the Black Widow shot, is double value. And the shot to the left, you know, ideally I'd like to have that be the, the, uh, the yellow shot, but I can't get that without doing change gems. But well, it is the final blow. And you're like, well, why did we do that? What uh, what advantage did it have? Well, it was, it was a buttload of points, basically. I, I didn't do very well on that, partially because I don't have my gems placed properly, and uh, partly because I don't know what I'm doing on this game. I don't have very much experience on it. So we need to spell strange again to light something else. And we can spell iron to complete. To complete the iron shots and uh, access this. One thing I forgot to say about the Iron Man shot, the Iron Man in lanes, and you'll notice this as soon as you play, they are not player controllable. Uh, the control shot to change iron is the spinning disc. So essentially, if you see a letter in Iron Man on your in lanes, you should shoot a corresponding shot that feeds that in lane. Uh, as usual, when you're getting close to something like this, you want to uh, you want to get strange completed so that you don't just go in to one of these blinds. And you say, "All right, well, which multi ball? Which? Hey, I did that! I did that! I did that! <laughs> Ooh! All right, game." 
You asked for it. Shoot again. All right, so I have uh, huh. All right, we'll come back around to this. We've got um, a few more completions to power up the Avengers yet, uh, yet a third time. We have Iron Man multi-ball ready. We also have um, the change gems option in hand. We could go for that to put the gems where we want to put them. Let's try for that. That's fine. And you're taking advantage of a ball saver there to do something dangerous. Okay, now the time. Power gem. Space gem. Time gem. Reality gem. I messed up. I messed up. I put the reality and the power gem in the wrong the wrong space. Sorry about that. Got covered. All right, let's play Iron Man multi ball the way it's meant to be. Um, we need to shoot the the flashing orange shot. And there's two of them. And by shooting both of them, you act you like the the Avengers Tower for the Super. Hmm. Hey! Woot! Oh, Hulk Rampage, yeah! Hulk Rampage is essentially a frenzy of uh, epic proportions. Okay, and then with Iron Man multi-ball, if you can put both balls up there during the time. Ah, oh, sad. I do that all the time. Avengers assemble. So am I. Oh dear! Ah, I blew that. Sorry. <clears throat> that was a good amount of trophies. Uh, no, yeah, no battle of Thanos for you, says the uh, the, the peanut gallery. Um, that is true. It also is not programmed yet, so uh, there is no battle of Thanos. So so. Um, I did not get to uh, to the, the trophy multi ball. You get from getting enough trophies. Uh, we, as always, are incredibly appreciative of the uh, backers in Patreon who have made it possible to make these videos. And uh, we are back. We are going to be making more videos through the help of Mitch Curtis and Mark Patnod at uh, Backhand Pinball. And we love the opportunity to continue making uh, great videos and playing great games like uh, Avengers Infinity Quest. Thanks so much.